Hi everyone. So today I am here to give you an answer to a question that many students have asked me. बहुत सारे बच्चों ने पूछा कि सर I was able to bring a lot of energy, a lot of power when I was in my school. मैं स्कूल में तो सर फोड़ रहा था, बहुत अच्छे से पढ़ रहा था. In my medical college, I seem to be struggling. What are the reasons for it? Why I am struggling, and how can I get that spirit, that mojo back? So I I thought I'll give you the answer. The number one reason that most people struggle with is underestimation of the curriculum that you have in a medical school. Now, when you are comparing your college or medical college to school days, what is happening is you are creating a comparison where we had four small books in school versus a huge amount of curriculum in medical college. Now, imagine now you are a first year MBBS student. You were doing very well in school. you are already overconfident that okay i am going to do, i am one of the best students in my school you come to a college and you meet some seniors who say are itna to padhne ki zarurat hi nahi hai and then you believe them because you feel that okay i was able to do it in school also i can do it now also but the problem with the medical college is the curriculum is large imagine reading anatomy of every part of the body every bone every joint every muscle every viscera brain nerve supply so there is huge amount of work to be done and it cannot be done in the last 4 days but you you thought that i'll be able to do it because you have been able to do it in the school but the school books were smaller but you got you tend to believe this because you've done it in the past and a senior tells you or you know somebody a youtuber tells you that hey, mbbs is very easy or you see it on instagram or you read it about it you say are yaar i can do it in the last 4 days it is not easy in the last 4 days when you try to do it you find a mountain of you know material to be done and you find it you know very tough and you think that why i am not able to do it you don't understand the size of the mountain is different and you start feeling bad when you don't score in your college exams as you were scoring in the school exams suddenly what happens is you start feeling that maybe i am not good enough you start feeling a syndrome that i call as the imposter syndrome you start believing that okay i am not good enough maybe it is something very very big or it is something which is very complicated but the truth is actually it was more about being more consistent in your studies so how do you get your mojo back you get your mojo back by first of all acknowledging that being a doctor being a medical student would require a lot of consistency in your efforts it it is not the last mile that you can run faster you have to go consistently every single day to make it happen that is when you will get your spirit back number 2 is this is very important and i have taught this to every student of mine in the last two decades bring the enthusiasm into the game what do i mean by enthusiasm now imagine you are sitting in a class and a teacher is asking something do you remember what kind of student you were in school in school you were a kind of student who would say yes yes i know the answer yes i will answer and you had so much enthusiasm that you were bringing energy through your innocence through your childlike enthusiasm where there were no ifs and buts but when you come into medical college you start believing that i have grown up okay you start believing i have grown up and you think that if i raise my hand now what will my buddies think and it will be uncool or you you want to be cool guy cool guy who is sitting at the back bench and all those things and you are not bringing energy into the system it is well proven that when you are mindfully learning with every part of your brain you understand more you in when you interact when you do the social interaction when your teacher says who is going to present the case when you put your hand up when when they ask you who is going to show me the nerve on the cadaver you put your hand up you start taking initiative you start enjoying it my second point is you get your mojo back by being fully present there with full enthusiasm no if and buts and you tell yourself that if i am answering questions just like i was doing in the school somebody would appreciate me it is very important to feel appreciated especially from someone who is higher up in your hierarchy now imagine now you are in a medical college first year and you a teacher says now who is going to show me the parts of the brain or parts of the chambers of the heart you say i will do it and others are still smugging and say that are he's like a bachcha abhi hyper and you are like the guy who wants to show it and you show that okay this is the cardiac chambers this is the anatomy i want you to see this is the reason why this is the right ventricle and you can you you explain it all and the teacher says good you're doing well you can't imagine the value of that input that goes into your brain you start feeling that okay i belong here 
and that is how you kill that imposter syndrome you need to feel that i belong into this system i i am good enough you need to tell them and how would you feel it when you have outcomes which are positive when they are moments of appreciation when you give a paper you give a exam you score well there has to be moments where you feel good about yourself so number 2 is you bring enthusiasm on the table and number 3 and the final way to get your mojo back is remind yourself of your original why why did you come so far and what do you want to achieve in the long run just to put things into perspective whenever you you know get into a college it's, you know somebody will tell you oh, you have to do post graduation later on somebody will tell you there will be a next exam or so and so forth and you start feeling worthless that if i don't do all of that in the next 5 or 6 years i will be worthless and you forget that first achievement that you already had you are a dream your you know a dream career for 2 million students of school you know i just wanted you to have that statistics 20 lakh students in school appear for the pre medical exam they want to become you so this is the moment to you know be grateful for where we are that will give you the power that okay i'm doing good i am at a good position i am already winning the game i if i've come so far i'll go further as well that will give you positivity but important thing is that you need to keep a uh, original why in your mind okay this is why i came so far because in this entire journey of 5 and a half 6 years it is very easy to get lost it is very easy to get lost with the you know chaos of things in the exams in the part 1 paper part 2 paper practical exam lab lab test tutorials it is very easy to lose track of what is my why so my final thing is if you are in confusion if you find things are not going your way if you find it is getting tough remind yourself of your original why that will be your guiding compass in this entire journey and i'm here to tell you that when you will look back in life when you will look back in life the dots will connect and this journey would be worth it with that belief with that faith that i'm doing something worthwhile keep moving forward reminding yourself of your original why bringing enthusiasm on the table if an initiative don't forget the initiative as soon as somebody says who is going to present i am the one who is going to answer the question i am the one bring initiative into the table and don't underestimate you know what you have to do consistent discipline you will learn a lot in this journey you will enjoy all the parts of medical science to me medical science is about it is a science it is definitely a science so it has that thrill of you know being a scientist but it is also a journey where you will serve people in future as well so it has a purpose it is a science it has a purpose plus you know if you are passionate about one particular field you will definitely enjoy that so keep reminding yourself of your original why and move forward with enthusiasm positivity and be grateful for where we are so far bringing positivity in your life is my you know i i i believe that you know i am maybe i might be a tiny drop or a tiny part of your daily consumption of your youtube videos instagram videos maybe you might be looking at thousands and thousands of social media posts but i want to be that tiny drop of positivity i want to make sure that i bring that positivity into your life i wish you all the best and if i make a difference do let me know in the comment section